distillation what is distillation distillation is the process of separating substances from a liquid mixture by evaporation and condensation it explores the differences in the volatility of the components distillation can be partial or complete simple distillation first we need a heat source a steel pot steel head with a thermometer in order to check the temperatures a condenser and a product decanter where we collect the distillate first we need to heat the liquid it will vaporize the vapor is let through the condenser after cooling the vapor it condenses and we collect the, the product in the decanter as you can see fractional distillation is the separation of the chemical compounds by their boiling point uh, we heat them up until one or more fractions of the compound vaporize. This is based on distillation too. On the following picture you can see a sieve plate. These can be found in the distillation coolant. We use distillation to obtain materials from crude oil, to separate the air into its components or to distill fermented products. To produce alcohol. One of the most common use is to clean the water by distillation. Our faculty owns a distillation coolant from Anfield. It consists of two parts, a standing processing unit and a control console. The parts of the processing unit are the condenser, the distillation coolant, the feed pump, the reboiler, the feeder heater, the automated and manual valves, and finally the reflux. So how does it look like? As you can see it is controlled by a PC with muffler. On it, behind the PC you can see the control console. This helps us monitor the temperatures in the distillation coolant and the whole process itself. Now you can see the standing processing unit. We will go through each of the parts separately so you can understand how does it work better. So on the bottom of the unit you can see the feed preheater. Above the feed preheater you can see the stainless steel tank which is called the reboiler. Above the reboiler we can see the peristaltic pump. Above the pump we can see the distillation coolant itself with the feed. And above the distillation coolant we can see the condenser. From the condenser the product either goes to the top decanter or it goes back on the bottom of the unit we can find the rest uh, decanter. This is where the rest uh, from the reboiler is collected. Now you can see how does the distillation coolant looks like without the insulation. And you can see the temperature sensors as well. The top part of the distillation coulomb is called the enriching part, while the bottom of the unit uh, is called the stripping part. You can see how does it work in slow motion. So the idea is that uh, we... We lead the vapor through the liquid, so this makes sure it will 
have a higher concentration. Finally, you can see a graph about the distillation coulomb and this shows us how the coulomb does stabili stabilize itself over time. Here is a better look at MATLAB. MATLAB has a few components. On the left we can find the current folder. On the top and middle part we will find the editor and below the editor we find a command window. On the right side we can find a workspace. Here is where all of our variables are stored and uh, below the workspace we find a command history. With the help of MATLAB we can create scripts, uh, draw graphs or create complex schemes like this to control the processes. This scheme represents the whole process and the controller itself. Stateflow is an environment for modeling and simulating combinatorial and sequential decision logic based on state machines and flowcharts.